my name is Sebastian Pini. I'm a double bassist. I'm currently, you know, studying in Germany. My project is a sort of episodic journey through my experiences in music so far. There are certain parts of my life and my experiences that are very difficult to express through words. It's forced me to try and think of other ways to express this and to try and use other mediums to do it, like, like music and like film. And that's been really, really special. I would say that this is the first time writing for myself because the only other time was in the HSC. So this is the first time that I've done this outside of a, an assignment setting, especially writing something about your own experiences and then just put it out there. And I didn't, I don't think I realized how terrifying that would be. It's given me so much more respect for composers in general. Uh, the shots in that, along with the beautiful music from Steve Newton, um, with those, I have tried to convey this feeling of solemnness and loneliness almost that comes with a grief that no one else will understand because no one else can understand it. And it is this, this uphill struggle to a point where we can look out and think back on the times that we had with this person. And with the last installment, yeah, it is, it is meant to feel chaotic and it is meant to feel nonsensical. I have conveyed this feeling, not just of being lost, but of it not seeming to make sense between which parts the character is taking or like jumping. This process of doubting yourself and your trajectory and what you're doing at all, <laughs> I do think it's, it's very present and I do think it's suppressed. Everyone is at a different place and everyone's going through different things. I do think it's um, something that we all share, but something that isolates all of us individually as well. I definitely think that it's not something that's talked about enough, at least for me personally. Music and art in general is our way of expressing things. It could be our way of telling a story or expressing feelings in just a, a tiny instant in time or taking our entire life's experiences and trying to put it down into poetry or onto a canvas or onto manuscript paper. Specifically in what I'm presenting in solos uh, with Fable Arts, I think it's a, it's, well, it's a very much a personal insight into my own musical journey. And within that, I think it comes with the understanding that my musical journey isn't over yet <laughs> um, and it will continue and it never stops. And we learn from it every day and in each scenario, we're in a new different musical bubble um, and we're being influenced by new people. And because of that, I have left it reasonably open-ended <laughs> because it is a lifelong journey. It is definitely, a journey that I'm continuing. The most prevalent one probably at the moment for me is, you know, Erster Verlust. Within that, the, the point of that whole sphere of influence that I got involved in uh, with the wonderful Stephen Newton really showed me the length that one can go to to express themselves through music and how therapeutic almost music can be as an art form. The, the first one, I think it's more about, well, how difficult it is to express and how rare it is these days to find like the childlike wonder that we would find in, um, in these, well, in the experiences we had when we were children. Well, one of the recurring themes in the last one is this fog almost already having a feeling as though you're lost and then things just stop being as clear as you would like them to be and you're, you can't see the clear way out. Um, I guess the message in the last one is also that that goes away 
of a time and that's only ever a temporary thing. I think we'll always find ourselves in musical bubbles and we will always find ourselves being impacted and influenced by the people within those bubbles. And yeah, there'll always be something to learn from other people. Down by the Riverside was a piece that I played to death with, um, with smaller chamber groups and specifically one uh, chamber ensemble that I was in for a couple of years when I was younger. Uh, I mean, I say chamber ensemble, we played like movie music at shopping centers. So we, we played a huge variety of different pieces, but we would always come back to this, this one thing that was just so, it, it was so much fun to play. <laughs> and it was just ridiculous. And because of those sorts of things, this one piece has become emblematic, emblematic of my entire childhood and childhood experiences in my mind. So I think about that and I think, oh, <laughs> you know, remember back to that time. Uh, <laughs> And yeah, more specifically, it's become a symbol for me of uh, a music camp that I used to go on. The, uh, uh, yeah, the Riverina Summer School for Strings and the beautiful experiences that I would have on this because that's where also this, uh, this quartet became a thing. Um, and yeah, for me, it's just, well, I mean, it's just a name that I've I've taken from another piece that's inspired me in some ways. But it's 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 more than that. Because with that piece I connect basically my entire childhood and within that like my reason for being inspired to become a musician and to play music and all of my childhood influences. Um, and yet the spark of joy in life that I try to try to put into my music. I think storytelling and music is something that quite often sadly falls to the wayside because we're also focused on technique. Well, I say we're also focused on technique. These days it's less like that. Um, but there still is a focus on, I have to play with perfect technique, otherwise no one cares what story I'm telling or how musical I'm being. What's the point of playing music if we're not expressing something? My, my father, who was a brilliant storyteller and a brilliant musician, he, he, you could always hear a story in his music. It was really, really special. And I think that that's something that I'd like to be able to continue on with my music as well. Working with Fable Arts has been a very special experience and it's allowed me, which is something you don't often find, to push myself as a musician, an artist, and a storyteller. And I think that's very, very special. So if you enjoyed this project, I would encourage you to donate to help uh, support Fable Arts in creating more wonderful projects like this and to support the artists in future like me. In any case, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the show.